If you're looking for a portable podcasting solution, Backpack Studio is the app for you. It's available on iOS, and we're going to take a look at it today. Okay, so here we have Backpack Studio. This is pretty much what it's going to look like after you go through the little brief tutorial. I have added one pad here for my podcast that I record, The Wired Homeschool. But for the most part, this is what you're going to get. Let's walk through some of the features and I'll give you my thoughts and my overall review. So first up here in the upper right hand corner, you've got your settings. You can adjust your mic gain, your pad size, your auto ducking, lots of different settings here with recommended configurations as well. And this is really, uh, it's really a great feature because many of the portable recording solutions you get don't give you those kinds of options. You've got a little place where you can keep notes that you can access while recording. So while recording is going on, you can be looking at these notes. Over here, we have your mixer settings where you can adjust your mic, your sounds that are coming from your pads, and then of course, your master mix as well. And then up here, you have where you access your clips, whether they're things that you've recorded yourself, clips that you have on your pads, and then of course, all your clips in one location. So recording is very simple. You just hit that record button up there and you press that microphone. And as you can see now, it is recording. And it gave you a little note that said, hey, plug in headphones so you can hear what's going on. Now, while this is going on, I can flip around back and forth. I can check my notes while I'm recording. And I can even go in here and take a look at my levels and see how things are going. And if I think, hey, I think I need to get that mic gain down or up, I can just raise that mic gain up a little bit in the middle of recording. I don't have to stop recording to adjust these settings, unlike in a lot of other products. And this is really a great feature. Now, you can see now that I'm clipping, and we'll just go ahead and turn that back down to a little safer level there. It is a little, a little tricky to adjust these, but you'll get there eventually. You'll get used to it. All right, we just slide to pause. If we need to take a pause, take a breath, grab some something to drink, the mic is still on. Of course, you can also, in the middle of recording, you can turn off your mic. So that is one thing you need to be careful of while you're recording is that you don't accidentally touch down here and turn off your microphone. All right, we're going to finish. We're just going to pretend like we actually recorded a podcast here. We're going to save it. At this point, you can add artwork. You can add title, artist, description. If you wanted to export directly to MP3, you could choose to do that and adjust the bit rate, choose whether or not it's in stereo. I always like to export to WAV. And then when I export, what I normally do is I export to Auphonic. And that allows me then to do some of my final uh, mixing there and then automatically upload it to my podcasting host, Blueberry. But you've got a lot of other options here as well. So a lot of good options there for exporting. This is what Boss Jock Studio looks like on an iPhone. This is an iPhone 8. And this makes a great portable recorder. It's got all the same functionality, just in a smaller format. And that really makes, to me, I mean, I did a number of podcasts like this when my primary phone was an iPhone. Here's what I would do. I would slap on a foam windscreen, flip the screen over, and just start recording. Right now, it's recording, and with that foam windscreen, I don't have to worry about too much external popping, any wind blowing in, or anything like that. It really is a great portable podcasting solution or a portable field recorder. Now, if you want to use an external microphone, you just get yourself something like this uh, ATR 2100. You get yourself an ATR2100 and the camera adapter. And you can just plug that right in to your lightning port connector. And you've got yourself a handheld mic that you can use and 
get a better sound out of it than from the built-in microphones. Built-in microphones are fine, but if you want to get closer to a studio sound, you're going to want to use an external microphone. If you're looking for a way to record multiple guests with Backpack Studio, then what you want to do is get yourself something like a USB Dual Pre. Um, this allows you to plug in two microphones, got a USB out, and then you would just run that through your camera connector right into there and you've got two mics. You could also get a Scarlett 2i2 or even a 2i4 and run it into this thing and you can have multiple hosts portable solution. This is great if you're going to conventions and conferences and you just need to get a way to quickly record interviews. This is going to be the solution for you. If you're looking, if you're someone like me who doesn't have a designated podcasting space, this is a great solution. I keep everything in a bag and I just pull it all out when I when I need to keep all my recording equipment in a bag. I grab my iPad, grab my recording equipment and I can be set up in five minutes and start recording a podcast for myself or with multiple guests. Finally, I just want to cover some improvements that I'd like to see. Now, before we had Backpack Studio, we had Boss Jock. That's right, we had Boss Jock. And one of the features that I really liked about Boss Jock, I will show it to you here, is you could go up here and you could connect by Wi-Fi to your device. And when you connected by Wi-Fi, you could upload files directly to the device. And I really, really liked that because it made it a very convenient way to get the files up there without having to upload them to the internet, to your Dropbox or wherever, and then download them back down onto the device. So direct connection. The second thing that I'm not too fond of is having to slide to pause. I understand the purpose of having slide to pause, but at least give us the option to tap to pause. And finally, I'd love for this to be available on Android. My primary phone is a Pixel 3, and for doing field recordings, I mean, I have an app that I use, but if I had this, I would use it constantly. Yes, I would, I would pay for it twice. Really is a great product. I think, like I said, if you are someone who is looking for a portable podcasting solution, this is it. Or if you're someone like me who doesn't have a permanent place where they podcast, then Backpack Studio is what you're going to want. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications when I release new videos. And also a huge thanks to Ed Filawat who sent me a code to review this product for him. I was a user of uh, Boss Jock Studio and Boss Jock Studio Junior. Loved them both. And this is a great product as well. I hope you'll check it out. All right, that's it for today. Bye.